Hello. What do you have to say to the trans students on this campus who actively feel victimized by your presence here today? Life's tough, get a helmet, man. I'm too pregnant for this. Next question. I don't even know why people are so butthurt. Like, why would you show up to a place where you don't necessarily care for the person that's speaking just so you can feel victimized? Allegedly, we're going to get into that. Just so you can feel victimized by her presence. I don't know anybody that voluntarily put themselves in a space to be victimized. Like, we are in the most coddled place in society that I've ever seen in my entire life. And it's very, very unfortunate that we are validating this behavior by allowing people to tell you that you are victimizing them by having a difference of opinion. You're not necessarily doing anything to them. You're not saying anything to them. You're not speaking to them because you can't speak to me because I'm not your target audience, right? I am not aware or maybe I maybe I am aware of a specific person, but I'm not aware of a speech that I do not attend. <laughs> That's almost like it's almost like, yo, I am going to go slum it out. I'm going to go into this unidentified hood just so I can go and see a shootout over on O Block in Chicago so that I can then be victimized when it's actually significantly weaker argument because they just talking about words or or they she has an opinion based off of standing in facts let's continue to hear what they got to say as a non-binary person what do you have to tell me about my identity because i know for a fact i'm not confused okay next question great statement are are these supposed to be actual questions or is this supposed to be a space where because i, I would think that they either had a question or it was a debate like they're actually trying to point out something that they don't they don't necessarily agree with but if she's saying i know for a fact that i'm not confused then that's just what it is that you believe it doesn't mean anything to me again why do you show up to a space and i'm very i'm so glad that candace owens is the person that has enough emotional intelligence to be able to identify and not validate this stupid behavior because it's one thing to address address a question it's another thing to validate people's feelings we don't care about your feelings the only thing we care about is the truth okay next question great statement that's a statement that's a statement okay you know your identity you're not confused congratulations sweetheart <laughs> thank you very much for your statement what happened on campus last year i'm not great look it up wait 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 you you can't fool me we know that surgery has been advancing and and the modifications and you know if you go into some of these cities and you see some of these people nowadays it could be a debate but you're not gonna trick me out on this one let me go ahead and rewind this i want to hear the, to hear the whole thing statement I know we all are aware of what happened on campus last year. I'm not. Great, look it up. It was just okay. involving um, LGBTQ members of the community feeling unsafe with rhetoric that's being shared. Like if you're a bi She thought she, or <laughs> let me revise that. They thought that they were going to be sassy and that they was going to get an applause for the audience, but there was no validation when they said to look it up. And Candace didn't even validate it. She was just like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever happened on campus last year i'm not great look it up it was just okay. involving um lgbtq members of the community feeling unsafe with rhetoric that's being shared like if you're a biological man and someone says hey what's up dude more of like there's students on campus that are living in communities where they don't feel safe because of rhetoric explaining that transphobia isn't accepted mm -hmm. um so how do you think free speech impacts wait, 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 wait. transphobia isn't accepted Phobia is a fear of something. Why would you accept a fear of something? Like the statement, and this is the thing, like these colleges, in my opinion, they are indoctrination camps, they are validate, validation camps, and the statement itself or the question itself is an oxymoron. On campus where transphobia isn't accepted, you can live your life however you want to live. Listen, 
nobody is in fear of you, A. And then it's an oxymoron to say transphobia isn't accepted. Why would I accept the fear of something? And nobody is afraid. That, that's the thing that people don't understand. And this is almost like, yo, I don't know where we get these terms from. I don't know why we validating this, this, this coddled behavior, this emotional escape and all of this. Nobody is in fear. You can do what you want to do. The problem is that you're forcing me to then have to accept what it is that you feel about yourself when I don't care. All I'm asking you to do is stop forcing it on me and you can do whatever it is that you want to do. That's the thing that people is, are communicating here. But let me go ahead and, and, and get to the whole thing. I want to play this whole thing. Great. Look it up. It was just okay. involving um, LGBTQ members of the community feeling unsafe with rhetoric that's being shared. Like if you're a biological man and someone says, hey, what's up, dude? More of like there's students on campus that are living in communities where they don't feel safe because of rhetoric, explaining that transphobia isn't accepted. Mm -hmm. um, so how do you think free speech impacts everybody in community? Yeah, I mean, the idea that if somebody looks at a man and calls him a man, that they're suddenly unsafe because they've created a false reality in their own head. Um, yeah, I don't abide by that. I had a stalker who had suffered from schizophrenia and he very much believed that he and I were in a relationship and he would send me about a hundred emails a day, okay? In the world of what you believe in your own head now needs to be accepted as reality, I would have had to marry him and raise my children with him. And me saying that this person needs to stay away from me and my family because there's something wrong with him and he was threatening to kill me if I didn't, you know, raise my child with him. That was reality. The left is trying to make it seem that people who see reality for what it is are demented and are creating unsafe territory, and that's not the truth. In fact, what I think is unsafe territory is for people to be affirmed in their delusions. They so wouldn't follow you around and say, hey, you're, you're a male, totally fine, go live your life as you want to live your life. But when right. you say that the way that you live your life now has to impact me and I have to pretend that I see a woman when clearly you are a man, I shouldn't have to play that game. And I 100% agree with her. And I'm not going to play that game. And a minute that people continue to play the game in order to try to prevent themselves from getting fired from their jobs or, you know, try to validate bad behavior in order to continue to be accepted. This is really just reverse bullying. It's another form, form of bullying for somebody to come into my space, tell me that I have to I have to validate how you feel about yourself instead of just respecting you as a human being, because I respect you as a human being. I also respect your, your right to free speech because that's what enables me to be able to say what I want to say, what you say, what you want to say. Um, and I also respect you, you as a human, right? So I don't think that anybody should pre be prevented as a human being from being able to exist in this world uh, to where, you know, they should be able to provide for themselves. They should be able to go to work, feed themselves, so on and so forth. But I don't have to validate how you feel. How you feel is how you feel. And where, where does the the line get drawn to where morals and ethics starts to come into play and then you start to bully me i hate that word because it's such a coddled word but you start to bully me and the thinking that and the forcing me to acknowledge who you are and it starts to impede in my life and what it is that i'm teaching my teaching my child right and and the minute that we we stop validating this bad behavior is the minute that we can start to put a cap on this but Candace Owens, especially pregnant Candace Owens, is an absolute savage. And I'm 100% in support of what it is that she's communicating. And the fact that she's on tour as a pregnant woman serving these people up hot plates of grits is a joy to watch. Isn't it awesome to actually see a woman, a black woman that doesn't have a whole lot of makeup on, is true to, to her, her conservative principles and values and stand up for what she believes in, while still living in her femininity and these are the people that y'all actually are villainizing it's amazing let me know what y'all think in the comments uh, i'm curious as to what you guys think so make sure y'all tap into the patreon link is in the description also teach hanley 30 percent off your first order plus a free gift i'm out